Welcome students in my new tutorial and today I'll be teaching you how to find the exponent. But before starting the tutorial, I want to teach you some basic concepts by using the input function. So whenever we use the input function, it takes the value at the real time, but it converts that value into string. For example, I'll show you here. Now this I am using in ideally shell. So I will write here. Now I want to enter the number here. When I press the enter key. So it is asking to enter the number. Now you see when I press the enter key. I, I am entering the 5 here. So you could make it out that it is putting single colon and what it means whenever anything comes in single colon that means it is a string. Now we can't do any kind of calculations on string so then what I should do because for calculations I need numbers then I have to manually convert it into integer or into float. Now for doing that I will use integer function. Now the same thing I will use. Suppose I am writing here input, but before input, I will write here integer. After integer, I will write input. Now enter the number. Now two times I have to close the bracket. Now you see, as I will press the enter key, now enter the number. Again, I will put the 5. And after pressing the enter key, you will find here it is 5 here without the quotes. Why? Because now the number which was entered by me was transferred into a string. But the function which is outside that means integer it has converted that string again into number. Because you know integer is a whole number that means like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It will not convert into float. Float means like 4.5, 5.5 that means in point values. So just now directly I will take you towards the programming window. So I will just take a new file. Now program to find the exponent. To find the exponent I have to take the two variables. So firstly, as I have taught you just now, I will use integer, inverted commas, again one bracket close. So this is also ok. Now what is the formula? to find the exponent. So, I will take one third variable result is equal to num. You know very well when we multiply we use asterisk sign that means this is used for multiplication. But when we use it to two times when we use when we use this two times that means it will do the calculation according to the power of the given number. And here I will write power. Now I will print the result. The exponent num variable I will take. Now let us see whether it is working or not. I will save this program. desktop under students exponent I will press F5 key if everything is ok it should work program to find the exponent so I will enter the desired number suppose I want to find the power of uh, maybe 
2 and the power like uh, 3 times th power I am giving 3 the exponent of 2 is equal to why it is not coming because I have not printed the result there. So, again I will go back to my coding window. So, here I will put result now everything is ok I will click on file I'll click on file and save. Now, I will run the program enter the desired number suppose I am entering again 2 power 3. So, exponent of 2 is equal to 8 that means my result is ok it is running the program is running properly. Again I will try something else enter the desired number suppose at this time I am entering 5 enter the power for 5 2 the exponent of 5 is equal to 25 that means my program is ok. So, you can just try that so I am with this I am closing my tutorial ok meet you soon with the new tutorial bye bye take care meet you soon.